Okay, guys, I'm going to cut the tracks on the receiver board, go into the H bridge, use some enameled wire from an old motor to extend the tracks around, and hopefully we should get two working H bridges for left and right and forwards and backwards. So I'll cut through the tracks, which you won't be able to see. A little grinding wheel would probably be a good idea. I do have one somewhere. Just have a close up, see if I've done it. A little bit messy, but I think we can see that I've actually cut through the tracks. I suppose I could point. Where's my pointer? Yeah, just there. Yeah, those two there. Those two pins are the ones we want to isolate. And then we need to bring down those two pins, or at least those two leads from there down to there. Well, I've done the job. I've even taken that chip off now, the 8311, because I thought I might have been getting some sort of feedback from it. I'm not. There's something strange about that controller chip. If I disconnect the motors, connect up the drive motor to either port, so that's That's the forwards backwards, and nothing happens when I press the steering. Put it in the other one, which is the one that I want to do the steering. It works. If I put the steering in the one that is the forwards backwards, Everything seems to work. If I swap them back to the right place, and we're back to the steering doesn't work. And I just don't understand what's going on there. It's got to be the output from the controller chip. is sending some sort of alternative signal. Now, I must admit, I did read something on the um, 8311 data sheet which I sort of skipped over quickly, but I'm pretty sure it said something about PWM or something. So maybe it's supposed to have proportional steering, but that's that's not what it's getting from here, because that's just two buttons. But that is definitely not driving the steering. And yet, So I swap them over. It's doing something clever that I don't need it to do. 
and it looks like it wasn't that separate 8311H bridge that was causing the problem. It's the output from the controller. So, what I thought was going to fix it, didn't fix it. That's a shame. Still, it was interesting having a go. I don't know if I showed you already, but yeah, I've extended those outputs with this enameled wire to the inputs of the H-bridge. But it's not working. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.